What's up guys, welcome to a new video. We got a bit of a shoe review here. We got the Nike Air Max 270s. Um, and it's kind of got some orange, some blue, some black. Um, I want to get some color in my collection, so I got these. And honestly, they're a little small. They're, they seem a little tight, um, but I need to break them in, obviously. I think they'll be fine. But I think they're pretty cool. I've never bought Air Maxes before. I like the color. I could wear these like sweatpants, shorts, jeans, pretty much anything. And that's something I wanted because I don't have as many shoes I can wear with jeans. Because um, I can't really wear like my skater shoes like Vans and like low Nike SBs. Unless you wear like skinny jeans, but I'm not a skinny jean guy if you did not know that. Um, but yeah, I think they're pretty cool. What do you think? Let me know. I'll probably have a poll up on my Instagram before this video goes up. But yeah, pretty sick shoes, I think. Let me know down below. All right, guys, I've got something to tell you. Um, it's kind of been in my mind lately. I've been struggling with this. This will be the title of the video, I'm sure. I've been struggling with this lately, and that is I've been feeling feeling really busy and stressed all the time. And I kind of have some notes here so I don't forget anything that I thought to tell you. Um, but I guess first and foremost, I'm a very routine and structure-oriented guy. I love having a routine and doing the same things over and over, kind of, and I, I just don't like to break my routine. Um, you can ask anybody who's close with me. Um, I have a strict routine, sort of, but I just don't like breaking it. Um, <clears throat> and I like to keep an internal checklist in my head, kind of, like all the time. I don't like to necessarily, but I always have an internal checklist of things I have to do or can be doing. Um, so even right now, like before I was filming this clip, like 30 minutes ago I had in my head, like I could be doing this or I could be doing that. Like I always have an internal checklist of things that should or can be done. Um, and this this whole thing is getting in the way of so like my relationships with others and my overall happiness. Um, it, people almost feel like a burden to me. Uh, like in my mind, like it's almost like they're a burden. Oh, now I also have to go hang out with them or I have to go make time for them on top of trying to do everything else, else that's on my to-do list or my internal checklist. So, and that's not good. Um, so it's getting to the point where people feel like a burden and I just, and just feeling stressed and um, just not as happy as I should be. So I need to chill. I want to tell you guys this because it kind of affects my videos and content. I need to chillax and take some things off my plate so I can just be calm and more happy. <clears throat> so, and like, I, I need to be in the moment, like experience things in the moment, um, not thinking about other things in the back of my head, just like enjoying the moment. Um, I'm Life's too short and I'm too young to be stressing about anything, so, oh, hello. All right, sorry, my sister walked in and had a brief pause there, but what I was saying is I need to be in the moment and not thinking about other things and uh, stuff I can be doing all the time. So what I'm going to do is I literally have reminders in my, like I have reminders twice a week on this day and this day and that day and that day to post a new Instagram, post a new TikTok, uh, post to YouTube. Like I have reminders in my notes and remind. Uh, in my phone to just do all these things and I'm going to be deleting them actually I'm gonna go delete them right now boom boom all right, I only had two left to delete but I'm deleting my reminders so I can just be not worrying about that and having that little reminder on my watch like vibrate all the time oh you need to post a TikTok or post Instagram I need to get that out of my head and I need to take some things off my to-do list I'm gonna try to put only things on my to-do list that actually need to be done soon, like have to be done. Because there's a lot of things that don't have to be done that I kind of make a have to, for better or worse. Um, and I'm also gonna ask Avery, my girlfriend, and maybe some of my other friends to kind of remind me, uh, and also I'll remind myself to be in the moment and not stress or worry about uh, my content stuff or things that don't really matter that much. Just kind of take a chill pill, like. Just a simple reminder like that can help me a lot and I need to do it myself and I think Avery and my friends helping will be great too. Um, so what this means is I'm going to be less active on social medias. Uh, you probably already noticed with this last YouTube video came out later than what you, like normally it's every Sunday but it's going to be 
just whenever I find time, I'm going to, oh, I have time and I kind of want to, I'm going to make a TikTok or I'm going to go take some pictures for Instagram or make a YouTube video. I'm only going to do it when I have time and when it's convenient. I'm not going to stress or worry about it. I'm just going to have fun and enjoy it. So that's going to mean less active on all socials, um, but that should be fine. I hope you guys are okay with that. Um, just too many things are feeling like a job to me right now, and they should not, especially people. So I need to take a little break of some sort. So that's just what it's going to look like from here on out. Kind of wanted to explain that to you guys. Um, and hey, maybe if you're in the same boat as me, chillax. You don't need to do that one thing that you think you need to do. Um, and don't worry about things if they won't matter in five years. Live in the moment. Be happy. Life's too short to not enjoy it. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next clip. Hello, ladies and gents. We're about to go to A Quiet Place 2, the movie. We haven't left our town yet, but I'm randomly showing you this because is it weird that I'm excited to get a new trash can? Like, we just got a new trash can for free from the city. Like, I think it's free. I don't know. But... Is it weird that I am excited, or does it just mean like I'm basically an adult? All right, we're now on Pier. We got some smart sweets for our movie snack. I'll get some popcorn too. But we're gonna watch A Quiet Place 2. I did not see the first one, but I heard it was pretty good, and I watched a summary, and it did look really good. So we're gonna watch this one. We got Quinn, Colton, Avery, and Jack, the whole gang in here. Um, but yeah, we'll have a movie review in three, two, one. Okay, movie review is here. I'm giving it a six and a half out of ten. Uh, the ending was trash. I felt like there should have been another half hour to an hour's worth of movie, and it, I just wanted to know more for sure. So six and a half out of ten. Quinn, what's your take? Uh, I give it a solid seven out of ten. It continued right off from the first movie. Uh, if you saw the first movie, you know what happened at the end. So. Overall, I thought it was all right. It was very quiet, of course. <laughs> um, but yeah, the ending, like, I, I get that they're setting up for a third movie with that ending, but I feel like it could have been resolved in the end a little better. Fair enough. The, the ending could have been a little better. I Colton? Feel. if Can we see Colton back there? Go ahead. Uh, you know... <laughs> I'd give it a six, just uh, on the acting alone, or not the acting, the ending alone. But you know, a good cliffhanger, so I'll probably watch the third one. True. Great. Avery. There we Seven go. Seven out of ten. That was really creepy right now, but yeah, I liked it. It was a good movie. It was good acting. The ending was kind of bad, but it's fine. Jack. Ending was a little bit on the dog water side, but whenever I can go on a date with my homeboy Quinn, it's a good night. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jack. Well, we're all pretty close to the ratings. Um, could have been better, but probably will sure. watch the third one. I think there's going to be a third one. Spoiler alert, I guess. But, yeah. That was a real spoiler alert. <laughs> What's up ladies and gents, this is going to be an ad workout, I kind of take you through it. I started out with the shirtless hanging alternating leg raises, um, just because it kind of shows off the abs. Now notice, I'm trying to like, curl my body forward, like curl my like butt forward, so it's curling at the pelvis, bending there, so it's more abs and not hip flexors. Um, and every time I go up, I really try to contract the abs and obliques on each side. Uh, this is a fun one and easier than just doing hanging leg raises together. Next up, we got weighted sit-ups, kind of on a decline and assisted with the machine. I'm doing six each arm or each side, but then I did eight because it's kind of light. Um, also notice I'm kind of curling forward once again, on my body forward, like low back, curling forward so my abs are contracted and I'm not relying on my hip flexors. To perform the exercise this will just hit your abs harder overall um, and notice I'm doing a lot of weighted exercises I'm trying to train my abs like I train any other part of my body because I want to build them so they are revealed at higher body fat percentages so I'm doing weighted movements because that just makes sense train them like I train the rest of my body now we got some dumbbell Russian twists I'm doing 12 each side. This is also kind of light, so I did, might have went a little more, 
but really focus on bending um, and then contracting the obliques. Um, it's pretty hard. Make sure you breathe. My face is a little bit red, but I'm doing this also on the incline the machine like I did the sit-ups. Um, these are pretty difficult. Now I move into weighted C-sit holds. So we're doing 20 second holds. I have like 80 pounds here and I, the higher up you put it on your chest and the lower you lean back, um, the harder it is. You should feel this in your abs being contracted isometrically for the full 20 seconds. I recommend counting to 30 or actually timing the 20 seconds to make sure you hit 20 seconds, but uh, pretty good isometric contraction. Then we got a little homemade ab roller. We're doing 10 to 12 reps and look at how I'm hunched over. Once again, I'm bending forward, kind of like contracting my abs consistently. So you hunch over when you're doing the ab rollers. That way, it's focused on the abs and not the hip flexors. It makes it harder, but you'll for sure feel it in your abs more. Give it a try. All right, that's the end of the ab workout. I hope you guys kind of liked my informative or walkthrough of the workout. I decided not to do an edit and kind of just walk you through how I'm doing my ab workout and uh, why I'm doing certain things during it, kind of cues that you guys can pick up on and try yourselves to better hit and build your abs. Um, but I think that's going to be everything for the video. So hope you enjoyed, once again, another vlog. Next week might not be a vlog. We'll see. I have another video idea coming up soon. But I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like the video um, as well as subscribing. If I get to 250 subscribers, I've got a special video lined up that can be kind of cool. So get me to 250, guys. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day, great night, great morning, whatever you're on. Goodbye.